I teach at a college and I went to a lot of colleges. I had like fear of loss, lost brachiopods. Oh, it doesn't even look like there was a party in here. Right, perfect. I think I put in that there are 12 known, but Piscenta was not accessible due to private property issues. I didn't know how to Have you been on Piscenta? No, I haven't even seen it. I just know that Kathy was chased off with a gun. No. no, 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 no. Okay, then what I need to do is go through all the fossils, find yes. the best examples of everything I yes. have. Yes, that's right. Um, show them to you, and you just so you can be yes. a good, 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 not good. Right, thing. right, right, right. You are golden. Yeah. You're golden. Clean, just wash them, and then let's put them right back in these drawers. And then let's just cover them with something. It's crazy, um, but this is two days, and once they start accumulating dust, then we're sunk. Yep. And you can do it in the lab. Yes. Isn't that handy? Yes, yes. I know. <laughs> and happy birthday, Monica. <laughs> happy birthday, Paul. But today is actually Cassie's birthday. Beats for life. Excellent, excellent. You know, it's the it's the syndrome where here's your soft-bodied organism, here's your trace fossil coming down, right? I think the data speak for themselves. All right, cool. Alrighty. Thanks. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to talk to these guys for a minute. <laughs> Daniel is working on soft-bodied preservation in the Cambrian, which is five some odd million years old. Five, five-ish. Yeah, about 500 million years old. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Yeah, that's that looks very real. Oh my God! Well, I had some memory that we had this conversation. So there's this guy. No, we have, yeah, we had this conversation about these ones. God, this is a pain in the neck. The dent is going up, so it's the it's the the flip side of the dinosaur footprint. Exactly. Yeah. Nigel's also Nigel is also my husband. In case you see us like okay. holding hands or something, it's not as scandalous as it seems. Graduate students from the Earth Sciences Department in, uh, are coming to Pachapa Elementary School and visiting K through six and talking about different aspects of geology, earthquakes, fossils, and climate change. And this is part of our uh, geoscience education outreach program that was initiated largely by the graduate students uh, where we go into local elementary schools and high schools and middle schools and uh, teach kids about science, but teach them about science using the using in the context of geology, because everybody likes a fossil, so it's an easy way to teach about science, and we all feel earthquakes, so that's another way to teach about science, and everybody hears about climate change, which is, you know, of course, another way to teach about science. Do you guys think it smells anymore? No. Why not? It's a rock. It has lost its stink. So, I'm here with, for 15 minutes and then I have to go to the Journal Club. Bob is a colleague from Pomona College who is an ex and, and a former PhD student. And um, he is jointly advising Daniel. So Bob is out today to look at Daniel's results.
All right, I'll see you in a bit. Have a good weekend. I'll see you in a little bit. All righty. One of the biggest issues with global warming and climate change is the disjunct between what scientists are doing and what the media talks about. And so the media has lots of ad hoc um, stories about, oh, there's more hurricanes and things like that. And it's translating that back to the science. And so that's that's the other side of what this group does. And this group was founded and initiated um, by graduate students. One of the things we've struggled with, a, a similar situation that's ahead of this in terms of articulating to the community is, of course, evolution, which you know has been very typical. Well, the scientists can't agree on evolution, and they can't agree on how it works. And of course, that's wrong. I mean, obviously, you know, so, so you can have scientific debate over aspects of evolution, but, but the fact, but evolution is a fact. So end of a Friday, Fridays are a lot of student involvement, um, not faculty meetings, not teaching, working with students and uh, sort of seeing where everybody is and what they're doing. And uh, yeah, now it's the weekend. And for geologists and people like me in this department, Lots of times the weekend, we're out in the field all weekend, and, and it, the only difference between Fridays and Saturdays is Saturdays is out in the field, on the rocks, talking about them on the field, and Fridays were, and during the weekday, we're still in the classroom. So it sort of extends right straight into the weekend.